Hey guys, it's Chase, and it is July 30th of 2020, roughly three years after my first video of my pond aeration system. And I've had a lot of requests of an update. Uh, people asking me, you know, what's the pond look like? How's the system doing? Anything I've learned uh, to help save them some trouble and whatnot. So I'm gonna do a quick update and let you guys know what I've learned and um, what the pond looks like. So before we get to the, the pond, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know that I have learned a few things and one of them being that you don't want to run your system 24 7. Um, this is kind of one of those things that people teach you to do not sure why but I don't care what they say don't run your system 24 7. Go get you one of the cheap timers and run it from midnight until a couple hours after daylight and you'll thank me later. Uh, if you're fighting Anybody that's ha had an aeration system and has complained about it not working, the only thing I can think is because they're not running it in the coldest uh, temperatures of the day. Um, so I learned this by doing some research after I installed my system. And I can't remember, I think that my, my pond wasn't, it either wasn't getting any better or it uh, was actually, if I remember right, maybe getting a little worse. Um, so I've done a little research and found out that you only want to run your system midnight to a couple hours after daylight. So I started doing that <clears throat> and then what I ended up finding out after that is if you're going to do that, that you need to have a check valve in front of your diffuser. So you, you run your line out before your diffuser, you need to have a check valve if you're going to shut it off, if you're going to have your pump off at all. And I'd advise that even if you are going to run your pump 24 seven, because if you have any maintenance you need to do, you have to shut your pump off. So, uh, you might as well have a check valve there. And what that does is it doesn't allow any water to fill up your line when the pump's off. So what I had happened to me was I had it on, I started putting it on the timer, like everybody told me to do on those forms. And my pump was getting stressed because the water in the line was all the way filled up to the bank and it was having to push a bunch of water out through those diffuser holes and then what happened was a lot of stress on your fitting so it blew a fitting it blew it plumb off and i lost about 50 foot of my um sinkable hose my my line which is about a dollar 50 a foot so that was an expensive mistake and I lost two diffusers in the mix of it all. Um, so I ended up, I ordered an, another diffuser and um, some more line and ended up putting a check valve in before the diffuser. And I've not had a single issue since. Like I said, I run it from around midnight to eight or nine o'clock in the morning. It's perfect. Uh, after I started doing that, the water cleared up and I haven't had any issues at all for the last probably two and a half three years uh everything's been i mean it's been perfect and actually this year this summer my brother helped me we build a uh a new dock out here so and i've i don't know how much i've changed over the year over the last three years in the video but i've done a lot of clearing up around there was really a lot of brush which i'm still gonna have to do some over there but i've really i've, I've cl cleaned up a lot of this over here and kind of spruced it up doing some landscaping kind of deal and stuff but anyways here's here's the dock that my brother helped me build this year and my wife and kids and i all swim out here because this is what the pond looks like after having the aerator it's beautiful it's like a swimming pool i mean it's just we love it the fish thrive there's probably if i stand here too long there'll be fish coming right up here because i've been feeding them out here but Anyways, so we got a little duck decoy out here that's hooked to a rope because we have we uh, have a big trampoline float that we put out here, and uh, I didn't want to lose my rope. It's anchored down. But right over here, it'd be just about, where are we at here? Right about right in here is where the aerator usually runs, in about the center, center location of the pond. And I found out not as about a year ago, if I remember right, that my pond is actually not as shallow as I thought it was. It's uh, 20, 20 to 25 feet deep, about right there where that decoy is sitting. So 
my aerator is sitting just over here and it's around 20 foot deep so i was uh surfing ebay one day and i found a really good deal on a big max pond aeration system which is i think it's rated for at least 30 feet deep or so and i know that all the di diaphragm pumps are only rated for eight feet so i went ahead and bought the big max and installed it and hooked my buddy up with uh the septic pump because his uh his system or his pond isn't that deep so the the septic air pump was working great on this pond and it's still working great on his and it probably would still be working great on mine but i wasn't taking any chances i was able to sell him my pump for the same price that i was buying the big max for and honestly i don't see any difference in the the amount of uh, output the wattage usage or anything on the the um energy usage or anything as far as that goes they're tit for tat they're about the same i i can't tell any difference so but uh anyways that's i just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a fill in because i know I, i've had people ask me about my pump and how it's doing and you know this and that and i i did know going into it that you're supposed to install them in nothing deeper than eight feet but like i said at the time i thought my pond was only eight feet deep and then i come to find out that it was deeper than that the pump was working just fine no guarantees that it didn't work it could have you know blew out the next day or what i don't know but it could still be working today i, I wasn't going to take the chance though because i depend on my uh, aeration system as much as i depend on anything else that's important you know the the system itself has cleared up this pond tremendously uh if you remember back in my first video that the pond was if i can't remember I, if i remember right the pond at the time when i installed the system the whole outside edges were nothing but algae and at one time the whole entire pond was completely covered with algae to where you couldn't even fish it with anything other than a rubber frog so uh i i installed the pump that was rated for this pond and it, i mean and everything is perfect i mean as you can see i'll try to get this camera i'm gonna flip the camera around here uh, like i said i'm on my cell phone so it's not the best video it's not like the last time i done a video i actually had my big camera out and, and all that good stuff but I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys some more of the pond. And then uh, I will be out. So we'll see. All right, guys, there you have it. But uh, real quick before I leave you, and uh, in this video, I just wanted to go up here and I'll go ahead and kick the pump on. No reason doing this without actually having the system going. I just realized probably ought to kick it on to show you guys that I'm not full of crap and I do still have a system. <laughs> so go in here, back in the shed here. I installed a light too, not too long ago, but here's my, here's my timer. Right here, you can hear it going. And then right here's my pump. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the timer. Like so. to the pond like i said there's the that's the little shed that 
it was in the last video that I ran my ran my line out of and down the hill and whatnot. But there we go. We got got bubbles. Go over here to the dock and I'll show you guys real quick before I end this video. I know it's kind of getting lengthy. What are we at? Ten minutes. Holy crap! I gotta get this thing ended. But here we go. I'll give you a shot of the diffuser. And there you guys have it. There is the diffuser right there. Like I said, this isn't the best video that I could have done, but I've just been so busy since the video that I last posted. A lot's changed in my life. I own my own business now. My brother and I started an excavation and uh, rock hauling business uh, before I was a lineman uh, for an electric company. And I decided I'd go live my dream and work with my brother every day. So we're constantly busy. Don't have all the free time I can to do all these videos like I used to, and I apologize for that. And I probably should try to make the time to do it because uh, there's, you know, a lot of people asking me questions about this. And I made that video to help you guys out, teach you, maybe save you guys some time and money on installing your own system. And it can be done. Uh, you don't have to have a professional do it. Um, follow my steps from video on, step by step by step, and then just do the, the couple little things that I told you that I had issues with that I had to change. And you'll have a pond that looks as good as this. So good luck to you. Stay safe out there. And hopefully I'll be seeing you soon.